Hello, and welcome to the second annual Best Leggings Award Show. I am your host, Ashley G, and we are here to talk about the best leggings of 2023. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we did this video last year and we are here at it again as a yearly roundup. I love this little tradition we're making here. A nice healthy roundup of all the leggings that we've been loving this year, but most importantly, which ones are our favorites? How I like to do these videos is we separate the leggings into different categories. I wanted to be sure to use the same exact categories as last year, just so we can see what's changed. I've tried a lot of new leggings, different brands even this year. We're looking at Gymshark, Athlete, Buff Bunny, Young LA, Camo Fitness, Honor Active, Navigation, Set Active, Petula, Lazuli Label, Define, Women's Best, Bombshell Sportswear, Halara, Astoria, and a ton of Amazon brands like Success and Yorio. Goal for 2024, double that. And honestly, my tastes have very much changed. I felt it throughout the year. I just knew, I just knew that the yearly roundup is gonna be super different this year. Let's start with the first category here. The most important category to some like myself, most flattering, AKA best for the booty. Whereas last year, this was just one category, I broke this into two subcategories. We're gonna be looking at the best for the booty, seamless and non-seamless, because that actually makes a difference. Seamless I like and prefer to wear in the gym, non-seamless, you know, maybe doing yoga or something more low-key. So the nominees for the best for the booty seamless edition are the Young LA Core Legging, the Navigation Curve Legging, which slid in at the last second of the year, but it made a memorable impact on me, the Women's Best Define Legging, Alphalete Amplify Legging, they won last year's, did they not? Yes, they did, with flying colors, and the Lazuli label Scrunch Sculpt, okay? Those were their BBL leggings, and the winner, for the best for the bum seamless edition goes to Young LA's Core Collection. Hey! <laughs> now before you chew me out in the comments, hear me out. This is just my opinion. You know I love my Alphalete Amplify. I do. This is why they made it as a nominee. And a very big concrete one at that. But the Young LA Core beat out the Amplify because I personally feel like it's a little bit more flattering on the glutes. I felt like it added a little more pucker around my tush. I saw it in footage, okay? I do a lot of the gym footage. I've done it in both Amplify and I've done it with the Young LA Core. And I'm sorry, but the Young LA Core gave me a rounder, more plump dump, period. And that was pre-pump. I also like the way that the scrunch sit a little bit more naturally in between my cheeks. <laughs> both great leggings. All the nominees are stellar. These nominees that I'm sharing with you today are literally all of my favorites. So none of them I don't like. They're all obviously there because they're a favorite of mine, but the winner just has to go to Young LA's core collection. So that was for the seamless. Now let's talk about best for the bum, non-seamless edition. The nominees are the Buff Bunny Curve Legging. Ooh, that butter fabric. The Paragon Rec Stretch Sculpt Seam Plus. Okay. They came out mid-year with the Sculpt Seam Plus, a little extra oomph to the tush. The Gymshark Ruched. I feel like that was a one-hit wonder legging, but it still stood out to me as being one of the best for the bum. Kind of reminds me of their power collection. So the winner for best for the booty, non-seamless, has to go to Paragon's Rec Stretch Sculpt Seam Plus leggings. <laughs> Round of applause there. Not only is it super booty enhancing, the, the scrunch of dreams really, but it's comfortable to work out in. It feels silky and buttery soft, yet there's a nice stretch and durability to it when working out. Super breathable, one of my favorite leggings to work out in, period. All right, so we have more categories to come right after a quick word from today's sponsor. This video is brought to you in part by Ebby. If you watch, you know, Ebby is my number one when it comes to seamless undergarments. All of their products have their no slip grip technology, which helps prevent any rolling, bunching, pinching, you name it. But today I wanted to talk to you guys about their bundles. On Ebby's website, you will see tons of selections for matching bra and panty sets. Whether you're looking 
for solids or fun prints. They also have sheer mesh sets as well if you're feeling a little extra spicy. The bundles that I have here today are the Claret Bralette and the High Waisted Thong, the Willow Bralette and Thong, and of course the Nude Only Bra and Thong. They actually recently came out with their only bra. There's no metal underwire. It's made of their soft wire technology, so you have great support where needed without sacrificing the comfort. Their bundles on site right now are pretty discounted, but if you wanted to save an extra 20%, feel free to use my code AshleyGata20 at checkout. This will save you an additional 20%, and a portion of the proceeds do go towards funding microloans for women all over the world trying to start businesses. I will have them linked down below. Feel free to check them out. We love Evie on this channel. What's the best overall gym legging? Something you can use to just crank out your workout, not think twice, rub a dumbbell or two up against your legging. And the nominees for this category are the Gymshark Camo. Pretty sure that won last year. They're still good quality. When I think of really getting down and dirty, that's what I think of. The Navigation Curve. They really blew me away with that curve. All right, wasn't the most breathable legging, but boy, it felt good wearing. I felt so secure. Felt like I could do a bunch of jumping jacks and I'm not gonna be freaking jiggling around. And last but not least, the Gymshark Vital Seamless. Specifically the new one, because if you guys know me, haven't been a fan of the 2.0 for a while, but that purple cobalt color really blew me away and changed my entire perspective on the Vital Seamless range. And the winner for functionality and durability goes to, gotta go with my Gymshark Vital Seamless. I have to. I feel so held in in all the right places without it being overly compressive to the point of discomfort. I think they really hit the nail on the head. I was steering away from the Vital 2.0 for the longest time. When I tried that new cobalt color, it changed my perspective. I felt like the old me again. <laughs> when it came to like Gymshark. Like when you put the set on for the first time and you just feel that overwhelming power, that's how it felt putting on the new Gymshark Vital Seamless for me. I know a lot of you guys were agreeing, like yeah, this one's definitely different from the other ones. So it definitely dethroned the Gymshark camo, but it's okay because the award is still staying in the Gymshark family. Next category is casual and fashion friendly. So we're gonna dial it back a little bit from the high intense gym wear, and now we're looking more street wear, all day comfort. Say I'm gonna go walk around the mall for the day. What am I grabbing? Like, what, what is it? <laughs> What's my grab and go legging? So the nominees for this category are the Young LA Urban. I wasn't kidding when I said I really love those urban leggings. Actually, I was working out in them too, so very versatile. The Paragon Reluna leggings. Ah, oh, so damn comfortable. The Petula Bear Warmth. I gotta hand it to them. They're really good if you need warm leggings. If you're living up north, it's freezing cold temperatures. Petula Bear warmth's where it's at. And the Camo Feather Light Enhance. Little subtle scrunch bomb, making the tush look real nice. But they're also very feather light, so just be aware in the winter time, you're gonna freeze your ass off. The winner for this category, uh, Paragon's Reluna Fabric. They're taking it home this time, guys. <laughs> this is the um, second category they won. The very first Paragon legging I've ever tried was their Reluna Naked. Okay, this was the ultra thin Reluna fabric that felt like you were wearing absolutely nothing. It spoke to my soul in that aspect because I love feeling like I'm wearing nothing. And they were the sculpt seam, okay? The OG sculpt seam, where it just enhances the glutes so naturally, that internal scrunch, oh, I just was sold right away. Ever since then, it was a snowball effect with Paragon. Like, I just, it was like an avalanche hitting me where all of a sudden I was like, oh my God, like I love the new colors and the patterns and this and that. And their sculpt seam plus, when that was introduced, I was like, forget about it. So they won this category for being the most comfortable for all day wear. They are the type of leggings where I don't ever feel like when I get home, I just need them off my body. I can have a legging that's so super comfortable but it doesn't mean I don't want them off my body at the end of the day. Not Paragon, okay? I can literally go out for the day and then just chill on my couch in them. They're so comfortable. Now, last year's winner, if you remember, was the Buff Bunny Legacy. Not to say I still don't like them, but they weren't one of my favorites this year. I've tried a lot of different leggings that, in my opinion, just felt better. I also noticed that this year, I'm really just not sure about the sizing when it comes to the new bray anymore. I feel like I'm sizing up, and then I feel like it's too baggy, and then I'm sizing down. I feel like there's more stretch in these other other leggings, which makes it more accommodating for all day wear, just my opinion. I'm getting very spoiled with that. I've been gravitating more towards their curve. That butter fabric took place of my favorite Buff Bunny legging, and the legacy isn't as prevalent. I feel like it's very 2022 for me, and I'm on to bigger and butter. <laughs> Next category, most affordable. Hmm. This was actually unanimous. It's camo fitness. 
all of their leggings are very affordable, but specifically my absolute favorite camo fitness legging is their Featherlight Enhance. I specifically love wearing it during the summer months because they're so thin and lightweight and breathable. But they run in at $35. Like that's insane. Now this is definitely a fabric I wouldn't work out in, but for a basic everyday legging that makes the booty pop, in such a nice elegant way, mind you. It's not a crazy intense scrunch, it's very natural. It has that internal scrunch that's just been popping off this year. Honestly, if they were to charge $50 for their leggings, I'd be like, yeah, that sounds about right. They were last year's winners, and they're this year's winners too, okay? They hold the crown in this category. Okay, it is that time. We're doing things a little bit differently this year. We are narrowing it down to one and only one legging. One brand, one freaking legging. If somebody were to see me on the street and go, hey, Ashley Gata, I have a question for you. What's your number one legging of the year? What are you getting the absolute utmost use out of? Out of every single legging you own and have tried this year, what's it gonna be? You guys ready for this? This deserves a drum roll, okay? Drum roll, please. It is none other than the Paragon Rec Stretch Sculpt Seam Plus. even a thing last year? No, it was not. Paragon is a new brand from this year that I tried, thanks to your suggestions, and I ended up falling in love with them. So much so that they landed the number one spot in today's video as the yearly roundup 2023 legging of the year. Oh my god. Congratulations, Paragon. You blew me away this year. Every single nominee in today's video clearly made it to my favorites this year. There's no doubt about that. But only one, only one legging can really take home the cake, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and that, that really is Paragon. When I say in my Paragon videos that I believe this brand as a whole is severely underrated, I'm not just saying that to be cute, I really mean it. I tend to find that this is the most versatile legging too. I feel like the Rec Stretch is the perfect material blend between wearing out all day comfort and then wearing it to the gym. I can do both in them. Now granted, I prefer the Sculpt Seam Plus because I love extra booty enhancement, but if I'm just going out and about to the store, I'll wear their Rec Stretch, but in the OG Sculpt Seam, where it just helps out a little bit, but it's not over the top. But if I'm going to the gym and I wanna see my glutes popping in front of that mirror, I'm going to wear that Rec Stretch with the Sculpt Seam Plus. So I love the fact that they took one of my favorite leggings and then gave me some options. Do you want ultra booty enhancement or just subtle natural booty enhancement? up to you. All right guys, so that concludes yet another yearly roundup video. 2023 best leggings of the year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment with a brand you've been loving this year. And of course, drop a comment letting me know what to try in the year of 2024. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video.